Thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to start by echoing the comments from the gentleman of the 24th. This process is one that's really collaborative, and it is a great example of what bipartisanship can do and what bipartisanship can deliver for the whole state of Washington. We work diligently on this budget from the start of session. Uh, and we at times have disagreements, but we work through those disagreements because we know it is for the good of the whole. And we did indeed create a historic budget that delivers nearly $9 billion in different organizations, agencies, projects across Washington. And as folks have heard me say over and over again, I believe this budget to be the economic development budget for Washington State. This puts people to work all over Washington in our smallest communities on up to our largest ones. We did indeed make historic investments in several areas that uh, the good gentleman from the 24th pointed out, but I also want to just point out that we did some really good things in uh, mo small school modernization grants. We invested nearly $100 million in that, and that, Madam Speaker, matters to the people of my communities. The rural communities that I represent will see this impact very immedi immediately. <clears throat> I'm also very proud of the work that we've done across the mental and behavioral health space, and I know that many members in this body have been active in that work, and this budget reflects a lot of the comments, a lot of the feedback, a lot of the analysis that so many members in this body delivered to the budget writers, and we feel very confident that we have created a budget reflective of all of that work over the years, and you yourself, Madam Speaker, have been really engaged in that, and I, I really want to appreciate that, and I think this is an opportunity, again, to just thank the members of this body who brought to us the needs of their communities across Washington. We hope that this budget is reflective of that, and we believe it to be, and we could not do it without all 98 members of this body. And again, thank you to the budget writers, thank you to our caucus staff, thank you to OPR. This budget is truly historic in so many ways, and I look forward to getting out across Washington, reviewing these projects, seeing these projects, seeing these communities really benefit from the actions we take here today. So thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and, and I'd like to agree with uh, all the good members' uh, comments uh, earlier. Uh, this is a really collaborative budget, and, and I've, I've said this before on the House floor in the passage of previous capital budgets, that the best thing about the capital budget is that it's a, a community of grassroots type budget. It's a budget where our community members identify issues in their community, uh, they develop solutions, and then they partner with us for so many of those solutions and to fund those solutions uh, with that, that really uh, follow through with their values and, and, and what works best for their community. Uh, over the last several years, and most certainly over the past year, a lot from the communities regarding uh, homelessness and addiction, uh, mental health, uh, housing crisis, and I think this budget addresses a lot of those issues. Workforce development is another one where many in my community struggle to find uh, the appropriate workforce to uh, help solve some of those needs in our community, whether it be behavioral health, uh, whether it be addiction, whether it be uh, merely just the fact that we need uh, better infrastructure and we're looking for uh, those workers to develop throughout the uh, CTC programs. Uh, this budget really addresses so many of those issues and I'm proud to not only be a part of a good team with uh, the members on the other side of the aisle, but across a rotunda to really develop something that uh, maybe isn't everything everybody wants, uh, but it's, it's, it's so collaborative because we know that when we're dealing with bonds and we're dealing with capital budget, it's a type of budget where we need each other. Uh, this is one where uh, both, uh, both uh, chambers, both sides of the aisle need to work together to come up with solutions that best serve our communities and best serve the state of Washington. So I'm also urging yes vote and, and, and I'd be remiss not to also call out thanks to so many of uh, the staff uh, whether they be caucus staff or nonpartisan staff that worked really, really long hours to develop, uh, uh, not only crunch the numbers, but then develop the documents that many of us will be using uh, today to communicate with our communities about what investments we made in Washington and what investments we made in our district. So I want to thank them as well as uh, the good members who worked on this team. So I also urge a yes vote. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Good bill. Vote yes. Uh, I just want to say what a privilege and an honor it was to serve on this committee with the, with the chairman and the ranking member and the vice chair and the assistant ranking. And what a great staff OPR is on this committee. Uh, what a tremendous job they do preparing this budget for the entire state. It's, it's a bipartisan effort. 
and it gives me hope that we can do more great bipartisan efforts like this in everything we do. And I want to I want to remind everybody of a, a comment that the good gentleman from the 28th made to me uh, the morning after the TVW gala. I said, "Wasn't that fun?" He said, "Yes, more of this, please." So I'd I'd like to say more of this, please, in relation to what happened on this budget. Urging a, urging a yes vote. Thank you.